Good morning or afternoon or evening, depending on when you're seeing this. We're on lesson seven of unit one in code.org's computer science discoveries. We're looking at storage today. Today's question of the day, why is storage an important part of the computing process? You're going to be looking at storage and a few apps in storage and just thinking about what needs to be stored and why. So vocab storage, saving information for future use. And you're going to be seeing what do computers do, as well as the activity guide, which is right here. Sample apps you're going to have. And they're actually pretty cool. Um, I mean, they're simple, but they're kind of neat. Um, so I'm just going to press continue. So first of all, you're going to be looking at the outfit picker. So you got uh, different inputs, what the output's going to be, and the processing that is happening. Um, if it is raining, then carry an umbrella. If it's autumn, then wear long pants. Uh, match. These are some processing pieces. Now, if you look at the sample app, the outfit picker, you've got what information should be stored. Should your favorite color be stored? Should the season be stored? Should the weather be stored? And why or why not? Why shouldn't weather be stored? Or why should it be stored? Why is it important for it to, to uh, store your favorite color or not? So that is what I would say for outfit picker. For the same, the same is gonna go. So make sure that when you do this, you click run and you actually try the app. So my favorite purple, it's the summer and it's raining. So generate outfit, look at that. Look at that outfit, it's awesome. Such awesome clothing, I just can't get over it. All right, I'm gonna finish that up. So make sure you click run before you try it. It won't work unless you click run. So run and then do it. Okay. Same goes for friend finder. Should the list of friends be stored? Why or why not? Friend locations? Why or why not? Friend requests? Why or why not? Okay. And then choose a kid's movie. Okay. Now you're going to finish that. Here's the kid movie. Kid movie, kid movie, yay kids, yay. All right, so before you move on and watch this movie, what do computers do? One should be thinking about this part, the activity guide. So now that you've seen examples of input that should be or should not be stored, Brainstorm at least two guidelines about what types of information should or should not be stored. Your guidelines should follow this format. If the information is, look up here, use your, what makes an information need to be stored? Okay, so anything that's stored, what do they have in common? What is it about that that makes it need to be stored? Okay, for example, blank should not or should be stored. Okay, and what's another one? If the information is worthy of your friendship? No, not really. Um, that's not what I'm trying to get at. So what makes the information worthy or not worthy of being stored or not stored? Okay, what makes it? Give two guidelines. What are two pieces that anything you said should be stored up here, or everything you said should be stored, have in common. That's really what this comes to. What do they all have in common? So anyway, um, that's how you do unit one, lesson seven, activity guide for storage. And uh, make sure you watch the video on what do computers do. And we will catch you later. Have a good day.